Hello viewers, today we're going to be replacing the hard drive and possibly the memory as well if I have the right kind on hand in this Dell Latitude E6430 laptop. The drive is located on the right side with the machine upside down, the battery facing away from you. And this one came to me without the hard drive but normally this would be like that and there would be two screws in there that secure the drive caddy into place. Those are already removed so we can just take this out. Now the drive has to connect in here. You can see on the top left there we have the, the SATA connections. So we have to take note that the drive will need to go in like this in order to align up with the um, with the connections so it's going to go in like this so that means the caddy needs to sit on here like this now on one side of this caddy there is a plastic nub that will go into the hole on one side and then on the other side a screw will go in okay so that's that's the new drive on the caddy now let's take a look at the memory uh, for the memory let's put this uh, is all like bent. Seems to be. Oh, this is completely unrelated to the to the video, but this. There we go. That was just kind of popped off there for some reason. Okay. Uh, so the the drive, I mean the memory rather. We have to take the back cover off. So, so this screw up here on the top right, this screw over here on the top left, which feels like it was put in cross-threaded, which is not good. It should not be that difficult to unscrew it. And then uh, well, so I think that's all that we have to remove. I'm going to take the battery out. And then we have the... The product code is under here, so I'll put a piece of tape over that. So nobody steals the windows from this computer. And then... Uh, I think we're good to go here. This just kind of lifts up. We may have to undo those too. Um, yeah, it's not looking like it. Let's see. Nope, those two screws are not holding it in. Oh, duh, there's another screw right there. We have three screws. And it will take some coercion to get it off, but you don't want to force anything. There it goes. Okay. Now let's see what kind of memory we have here. This is the, the memory is located down here. Pull these two tabs out and then it slips up. These are four gigabyte sticks. Do I have any others? I have some four gigabyte sticks here. Do I have eight? Yes, there we go. There's one eight gigabytes. And there's another 8 gigabytes. So we're going to take 
both of these out. This Kingston memory. And we're going to put this uh, Samsung 8 gigabytes in there. So you line up the the slot with the tab on the machine, slip it all the way in, and then press it down. It'll lock on both sides. Okay, so the memory is now in. While we're in here, I'm going to clean out the the radiator there. It's very important to keep the radiator clean. You know, a lot of people don't do this, but it needs to be, should be done on the regular. I don't know if the video would have picked up all that dust that just came out, but a lot of dust just blasted out of there. No, you're not going to break the fan by doing that. It's a common myth. Okay, so the fan is clean, the radiator is clean, the new memory is installed, the CD drive is fixed. That vent looks pretty clean, so does this, so that's fine. Let's slip this back on. It has to go in on the bottom first, and then it closes up towards the top. And you have the three screws will go back in. And they should they should go in very easily. I don't know why that uh, that one was so tight before. If they're threaded correctly, now they're machine screws, metal on metal. They go in real easy. So that's in, I'll put the battery back. Okay, and now for the drive, the connectors are up at the top. So we may have to kind of angle it up a little bit. And in fact, it's better to do it like this so that gravity works with us. And we slip this in and you'll feel it kind of press in and that's connected. Put these two screws in. And that will conclude the drive and memory replacement.